feel like I'll be a good player in the NBA. Uh, very athletic, uh, run up and down the floor very well, uh, very aggressive for my size. Uh, I can rebound the wall very well. Uh, I think I fit very well with it. Do you feel like there's any misconceptions about your game that you're having to clear up throughout this process? Uh, well, people say I can't really shoot a dribble, but uh, my shot has gotten a lot better. Uh, like today, I knocked down a lot of good shots. My ball handling still can get better, but uh, I'm going to keep working. Would you, would you classify yourself as the best athlete in this draft? Do you feel like that's a distinction that belongs to you? Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. You, you had a, tons, of, tons of highlight worthy real plays there at Georgia. If you could pinpoint one as your favorite, is there any that comes to mind? Uh, my favorite, probably sophomore year. Uh, when I dunked on DeMarcus Cousins. That was a vicious one. Yeah, everyone knows about that. Uh, but I have another one. Uh, we played South Carolina at South Carolina. Caught a putback. That was pretty nasty, too. So that was probably my favorite, too. Do you, because because you're such a good athlete and you just mentioned that you, you feel like your ball handling needs some work, are you hoping to land with, with a team that, that prefers an up-tempo style and gets definitely, up and down? Or? Definitely. But uh, even if a team like that picked me, I'm still going to work on my ball handling so I can get better. You, do you feel like even though that, that's what you prefer, w would you be able to make the transition to playing with a half-court orient yeah, oriented team? Definitely. I feel like each year I'm getting better and better, so if I keep working, uh, sky's the limit. Are there any NBA players that you try to model your, model your game after? Uh, I know if I got my handles better, uh, I'd be somewhat somewhat type player, like probably like Dwayne Wade, you know, he attacks the basket, play aggressive, play above the rim, so if I keep working, I think I can get to that level. Uh, there's a, a good amount of shooting guards here. What are you trying to do to differentiate yourself from them and stand above them in terms of uh, the eyes of G GMs and teams? There's a lot of good players here, uh, and I'm just going to go out there and play my hardest. Uh, just, I feel like my key my key right now is being a lockdown defender, so if I, if I do that, I can go, go very far.